Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Sanctus Mortem. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, it's been like a few days since I recorded the last episode. And I think now is a good time to uh, get some board parts. Now, I'm definitely not going to worry about... Well, well, it's a good thing you can actually see the stats on the ship. But getting these because I already have better armor for them. However, I would like to get some photon cannons. There. Now these cannons are going to be better. You know, only by 10, but hey, it's still better than what we got before. Uh, you know, we got extra money. And how did we get all this money, even though my characters are still only level 6? Simply put... There are other enemies you can fight on the Vords, but only when you're on the Vords, apparently. Which is actually pretty good. And these enemies don't give you experience, because again, you're not the actual characters fighting. Oh, these are not the enemies, of course. Don't be misled when you see you get experience with them. You don't. But there are, like, ships you can fight. Which would not show up if you were the human characters. Well, I guess... Like, organic people. Organic characters. I'm just gonna assume that Zalia is not a human. Let's just call it like that. Okay, these uh, vessels are not showing up. But they do show up here. You might run into a bandit or a rogue, but you'll run into these. The ships are so powerful that they pretty much kill regular enemies in one hit. Here, at least. Even before I upgraded the photon cannons. Oh my god, why are they not showing up anymore? They were showing up on the regular before. Like, before I recorded. And now they just don't want to appear. They're not even rare enemies. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more try. And if I don't see them, then I'm just gonna go into the, uh, desert. Oh! As soon as I say I was gonna give it one more try, there it is. The Assault Node. These guys can be a little tough, or at least they're tanky. Nothing you can't handle, and if you want to heal, you have to go to options. I did not- I forgot that this was a thing. Because I thought healing would be in the same part as cannon, which it's not. That would make no sense. Not only do they drop coils for you, but they drop like 350 credits a pop. And sometimes you might fight two of them at the same time. Which, if you do, that's 700 credits! Alright, how am I doing for equipment there? I suppose I should get a raise Scion. Oh, I'm in items. I'm a dumbass. Actually, what I should do first is sell the, um... The stuff that, uh, we can't use at the auction. Apparently the node coils are 58 credits each. I'll sell three of them. Uh, Daria's Essence, you don't need anymore. Anything that says good for selling, just get rid of. Anything that says useful as an item to auction with or to sell, probably hold on to that. Uh, let me buy one more elements. Does everybody have elements on? You do. You don't. Seems how we have this excess money, we might as well make good use of it. Try to have you with rays. And now that we've got more money. Let's buy some capsules. 
Maybe a couple energy vials. Some of these. Uh, definitely a couple of these. And some of these. I think we're good for now. Let's not buy too much. In case we can find some good equipment later. And we'd rather not have to grind for more cash unless we have to. Did I not fight these jabronis? I guess I didn't. I didn't bother to, like, constantly grind my characters, like, well above what I need to. I like to have, like, some modicum of a challenge. Considering we have new weapons. Actually, you know what? Let me take Ray's off. I think I'd rather healers, and I'll use neurostimulants if I have to. Actually, just target one at a time. I thought I use Ignis. I guess I didn't. Is the Nerum better? Ah, uh, more or less. And right, I think it would be my best interest to mop the floor with everybody here uh, off screen. So why don't you give me a couple minutes. Alright, I'm back and they're all gone. So, uh, oh, I guess where we need to go is this way. Oh, this is a nice view. It's getting dark, Zalia. Still no sign of the pirates. We must persevere until we find them. Have we tried exploring on the sea? Or Disney? What in the... It's you! You commanded that force that destroyed Pyrn! Oh no! It can't be! How perceptive of you, Kale. Your screams of rage were most gratifying. Who are you? How do you know my name? You may call me Zal, the defier of fate. I have been waiting a long time to meet you, Kale. I railed against even those you would consider gods just so we can meet this day. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Did you not hear the cry of your ancestors calling out to you while Pyrrhon burned, Kale? Have you questioned just how you were able to pilot a void in the first place? I... I don't know. Yes, you do. The lingering flame of your ancestors burns bright within your eyes, Kale. I see much of them in you. I admit to times of self-doubt as to how I can do things, or how I know things. But I don't understand how my lineage plays into this. I don't even know these ancestors you speak of. Now you profess ignorance of your own truth? I see. The time of God's covenant is not yet upon us. So there is still time for you to be tested. Tested? God's covenant? Yes, God's covenant. When the ancients shall rise once more and bring everything that lives to be one with God. You must be tested to prove your worth to God. Is this how you're going to test me? Will you die here in obscurity, Kale? Or will you prove to God that you are worthy of being redeemed from the shadow of your ancestors' rebellion? Zal! Into the void, sweetheart! Hurry! Kale! We need to deal with this in our vords! Damn it! Well, that's a good thing I got them outfitted with a new equipment. Chimera! Alright, I think it would be a good thing to lower this guy's accuracy. Although, what eyes do I shoot it into? Apparently it didn't work. 
I was able to lower its speed. Oh god, it's got acid blast. Hmm, it might be more or less better to just use the cannon with Anshar. I already got its speed lowered, so. The fact that you can attack twice is also a bit of a bitch. No, I think this uh, Sonic Blast is better. If I repair, can I remove the acid? No. I guess not. It seems to get two attacks when it's hit by Era. At least that's what I've been noticing. Or at least when it's close to its turn. Maybe I'm just overthinking things? I possibly could be. But so far, when Era has not attacked, Chimera didn't get two hits in a row. Alright, the acid's gone. But it looks like its agility is back to normal. You know what? You should heal. And that was the right idea. Wait! Oh, I just noticed that one of the snake heads got beheaded! I did not notice that until that last hit! Zal! Wait! Damn it! Are you okay back there, sweetheart? I am fine, Mama. Can you patch me into Kale? Go ahead, Mama. You are such a good girl. Kale! This is Zalia! Are you alright? I'm fine. Are you and Alana okay? We are fine, Kale. I think it's time you and I had a talk. I noticed earlier that you reacted to Zal like you knew of him. What's going on, Zalia? Perceptive as always. You see, Kale, Zal is known to me due to the history he has had with your family. Zal made himself known to your parents shortly before they disappeared. He was looking for you, Kale, but luckily you were not at home. Who are you? Get out of our house! I am known as Zal, and I will leave, once I have spoken with your son. What do you want with our son? That does not concern you. I have been searching for the one named Kale for far longer than either of you have been alive. Give him to me! You'll not have him, Zal! We'll never give him to you, Zal. I know who you are. My father told me about you. You've been asking our family the same damn question for centuries! Now that I know that your son is the Kale I have searched for, I no longer need concern myself with the likes of your foul family. Fate will draw us together. Get out! I leave only because it suits me to. Your parents came to me the next day, told me what had happened, and that I was to keep it secret from you unless Zal appeared once again. That was the last time I saw your parents. I can't believe it. You should have told me earlier, Zalia. What the hell? It appears that the pirates we're looking for have found us.
to the captain of the incoming vessel. We seek sanctuary within your ranks. We offer our specialized skills and our vores as compensation. What say you? We are seizing our attack. Prepare to dock your vores within our bay. The captain will meet you shortly. Well, this ought to be interesting. Hope you know what you're doing, Zalia. Welcome aboard the hover ship Aurora. I'm Dart, the captain's first mate. Oh my god, he, he definitely looks like Dart from Legend of Dragoon. I wonder if that was the inspiration of designing this character. I'm Kale, and this is Zalia with her daughter, Alana. You're lucky we received your message when you did. The captain usually shoots first and asks questions later. Okay, so I'm not always right about things. At least we're alive. The captain is wanting to see you. If you'll follow me to the meeting room, except for the little one. She'll be escorted to the children's room while she waits for you. You have a children's room? You will not harm her? Never! We actually have other kids here that will keep her company. Most of them are war orphans or rescued from bad homes. Define bad home. Sweetheart, these nice people are going to take you to a room with other kids while we talk with the captain. Are you okay with that? Nice people here. Be okay, Mama. I'm very proud of you, Alana, for being such a big girl. My little girl is an excellent judge of character, and she seems to trust you, so I shall do the same. Thank you. We will take extremely good care of her while you are meeting with the captain. Tia, can you come here? Yes? What can I help you with? I need you to escort Alana here to the children's room, and stay with her while her mother meets with the captain. Of course, ma'am. You don't have to worry. Our kids here are great, and she'll have loads of fun. Thank you, Tia. Hi, Alana. I'm Tia. I'm going to take you to the children's room. I'm sure you're going to love it there. Love you, Mama. I love you too, my heart. We'll see you soon, Alana. Promise. What about our vords? Not to worry. They are to be repaired and cleaned up while you're speaking with the captain. He's expecting big things out of you two. It's almost as if they know about us. Captain, these are the Vord pilots that messaged us earlier. Their names are Kale and Zalana, or Zalia. Zalia's daughter Alana is with the other kids right now. Aye. Good work. I'll take it from here, Dart. Get back to the bridge and prepare to take us out. Yes, Captain. Name's Shy, Captain of the Aurora. This here is Reginald. He does the cooking and, well, a bit of everything around here. Food looks damn good, as always. It is a pleasure to meet the both of you. If you should need anything, please feel free to let me know. Well, go on and sit down. If I was going to kill you, I'd have done it already. So, who are you people? Don't even try to try to, to lie to me. Because I got my ways of finding out the truth anyway. I'm from Pyrrhon. My home was destroyed when Valsican Vords came to the village. They were chasing what would become my Vord after the previous pilot was killed during the battle. I can tell that's the truth, just by seeing the look in your eyes. It's a look I seen before in the mirror. That look when you use, lose your home. You lost your home too? Aye, I did. Thane bastards went my home from the face of the planet because we rebelled after the government collapsed. What about you, lass? I'm guessing from your pointed ears that you got some thoracic blood in you. Am I right? I had only heard of what my ancestors were called just recently. How did you come to find that out? I know a little about them. I ain't got the ears. But there'd be a bit of thoracic blood running through my veins. Fascinating. Oh, 
And to answer your first question, me and my daughter hail from the Puran area as well. I have known Chaos here since he was little. Looks like everything is in order then. Here's the deal. You help me take down Cannon and his forces. You folks can stay here and we'll protect ye. Cannon? Who's that? He's a Lord of Thane. And the man responsible for the assassination of Pres Presider Eleni. He's a good old woman and an honorable leader if, there are, if ever there was. I had heard about that from a few travelers who came to Pyrn. Cannon seized power shortly after Presider Eleni's death. And now he's searching for new weapons to destroy Velsica with. You hear it right. Cannon's sending troops all around the world's ruins to look for weapons so he can take out Velsica once and for all. Now, I ain't no fan of Velsica, but there ain't no way in hell I'm letting that power hungry jackass get his rotten hands on weapons that can slaughter a whole bunch of people. Your cause is just an honorable, Captain. Since it will pay for my daughter's protection and our room and board, you may consider me at your service. Thank you kindly, Zalia. What about you, Kale? I don't know what the future has in store for me, but I know three things. Well, four things. First one, this coffee is a little cold now. So that's a disappointment. But anyway, one, that at some point on this journey, I'm going to confront that Zal again. And I'll need friends around me when I do. I've got some questions for him. I also need to make him pay for Pyrn. For the second thing, it sounds like what you're doing is the right thing, Shy. My job back in Pyrn was to protect people. And if I can still do that by joining you, then I'm going to. Lastly, but most importantly, wherever Zalia goes, I go. Zali and Alana are the reasons why I'm still alive today. And without them, I'd have nothing and no one. I owe them everything. Kale. I can't lose either of you. You're my world now. And I'll gladly give my life if it means protecting you two. Oh, my Kale. Er, ahem. Oh, my apologies, Captain. Well, I certainly got got over Esma pretty fast. <laughs> Sorry about that, Shy. Nah, no worry. We have an accord then. Welcome aboard the Aurora. Feel free to explore my ship, and then come see me on the bridge. All right, so we can go just about anywhere now. So I go to the bridge if I want to continue. It's wonderful to see the captain reach out like he has with you. Yet another stepping stone to finally toppling that vile cannon. Can I help you with anything? Oh, I have to actually buy the items. Wait a minute. Oh, for some reason I thought that it was cheaper. Nah, it's the same price. Well, I don't need this anymore. You know, it's a good thing I did get all those Keledra scales from the forest. Because, apparently, you can't go back into the forest if you exit it. And there were no Keledras in the desert. Alright, I think this is a good time to save. And in the next episode, we will explore the Aurora. Explora the Aurora. <laughs> See ya, everyone.